good day to all right now we are with the maestro in finance and business the chairman or the independent director in companies like lnt ambuja cement blue star limited and many more also authoring two books founder of gov eva and over four decades of experience in this entire field i welcome mr shailesh haribakti sir thank you so much sir for giving us your time thank you so sir uh, to we are doing this interview to have a flashback from your memories as well and something that we can learn from as well so uh, let's start with the childhood so what values did you learn from your childhood and what were the little stories that taught you big lessons in life that you experience right now okay so the biggest value that uh, we learned from just observing my father who was a very prominent chartered accountant Uh, was the value of hard work okay he taught us that it is critically important to be working 12 14 16 hours a day because okay. that's what he used to do so you kind of learned that yeah. automatically the other big lesson he taught was the lesson of integrity it is so important that even where around you everything doesn't seem to be operating out of integrity full transparency it's important for you to adopt it and maybe your path to success will be slow but it will be a sure sustainable path so that was the second lesson that i learned one of the person that i was influenced greatly by was mr azim premji Okay he would keep saying that Wipro has time to wait forever for the right thing to happen in the right way Okay another very inspiring personality for me has been Mr Narayan Murthy who once told me that as soon as something goes into my diary that becomes permanent nobody on earth can change it not even me okay so he was so disciplined about where he went what he said where he uh, made a speech or what about he received that once something went into his diary everybody around was certain that he would be there okay see the extent of aura that that creates yeah. you never are wondering whether mr narayan would be will turn up he always turns up on time and does exactly what was slated for him okay. very inspiration third person who inspired me and taught me a very big value was the value of quality being the label of made in india okay this was taught to me by a 90 year old gentleman i was at that time just 30 Okay. And I was inspired by this 90-year-old gentleman called Mr. D. L. Shah. He owned a company called Perfect Machine Tools, and he taught me the lesson of how India can become the symbol and the signal for high quality. And one of the reasons why India is so successful in services is because we adopted that mantra. in our information technology space okay and that transformed everything transformed right? so much for india today the whole world looks up to india for information technology it's true because we were we were so particular about quality and about making it right the first time and the lessons were taught by mr d l shah to me okay so sir from school life we transitioned to the junior college which is uh, we could say a major turning point for a lot of people in which you meet new people you meet someone who might change your entire life the perspective towards everything not just about work related personal life and what happens throughout so so what was your experience about that so we were a bunch of uh, very starry eyed youngsters in sydenham college okay uh, i remember that we used to have very vigorous debates on uh, Our favorite author was Bertrand Russell. Okay. So all of us had read uh, Bertrand Russell's books, 
and we would come to college and debate them. We had all read Somerset Maugham. We were all on a diet of uh, Dipant because at that time, the mm -hmm. world was attempting to break out into peace. Mm -hmm. So the idea was that how do you bring world powers into balance? Mm -hmm. And so all of these debates were held in Sydenham College. Okay. Uh, in the canteen and outside on the parapet. And <clears throat> everywhere. So it was an intellectually extremely stimulating uh, part of life. Okay. Three years that I was in Sydney College, or two years that I was in Sydney uh -huh. College, were extremely stimulating. And those mm -hmm. friendships, even today, mm -hmm. are my deepest, strongest friendships. Wow. So I learned public speaking while I was there. Um, we used to do so much public speaking in Sydney <laughs> College, and then through my life, uh, so it all started years. there? It started just at the beginning when I joined college. I just okay. finished the public speaking course okay. of Mr. Edgar Nazareth. Okay. And then Sidlam gave us just the forum okay. to debate and interact. And Use those skills into the yes. class. So sir, as you told that you had multiple mentors throughout your life. So at our age, how was your first approach? How did you actually first approached someone that you wanted uh, him to be your mentor and convince him to actually let you shadow him and everything? It happens naturally, actually. Okay. Um, it ha I mean, if you want me to define a process, it's the uh -huh. process of wanting to take leadership if it is offered to you. Okay. I think this is very important. Okay. So the leadership role in Siddham College that was on offer to me was to become the General Secretary of the Union. So I oh, took yeah. it. Okay. And what that did is that I knew every person in the college. Okay. There was not a single person I did not.